There is a secret history to chemotherapy that reaches right back to World War II. There's a huge bang, followed by another one and a, and a blinding flash. And then they knew what was happening. It was an air raid. Uh, it was pandemonium. So after the attack, nobody realised in that moment was that one of the ships that had been destroyed was carrying something very dangerous in its cargo. John Harvey was carrying something that nobody knew was there. It was a secret so great, and that was a poisonous cargo of American mustard gas bombs. At this point in the story, a very key character enters, Lieutenant Colonel Dr Stuart Francis Alexander. He'd been called in by the uh, hospital because they had hundreds and hundreds of, of wounded sailors with very strange symptoms. Some of them even said they felt okay, they felt rather well, and then they'd keel over and die minutes later. So our Dr Alexander has experience with mustard gas, he has suspicions. What does he do next? Stuart Alexander was able to identify right away that the chemical agent had been in the water of the bay. He ordered autopsies. And what he sees in the autopsies is that uh, in case after case, the nitrogen mustard compounds had interfered with the body's ability to produce blood cells, especially white blood cells. And he began to wonder about the effect of this on something like cancer or le le leukemia. And what he realized was that he could not save the worst of the Bari mustard gas casualties. But he thought that he could do something to make their deaths count. 